On to side. Second down and six. Off the play action. Cousins throwing and able to complete C.J. Ham. Stopped by Thomas Graham in his NFL debut tonight. So here's George Jefferson right here, and watch as this play develops. You're going to get that double team. Vildor underneath, and you're going to get the safety. These two guys right here, that's how they're going to approach it, playing Justin Jefferson. And if you're Kirk Cousins, you got to find complementary players. And without Thielen, Ham's going to be a piece of it. The tight end Conklin has to be a bigger part of the offense. Third and three. Need the 45. Taking a deep shot, Tyler Conklin. Alec Ogletree had the coverage, and it's fourth down. Gradient going on. What was that dance move Randy was doing in that uh, cartoon? That's that a great question. question. <laughs> First down and ten. Second possession. Cousins trying to set up the screen for Cook, and nothing doing. Roquan Smith was there for no gain. And the NFL Network and Prime Video followed by the Colts and the Cardinals. And Kirk Cousins barely has time to look up. Akeem Hicks came flying in and it dropped him for the sack. This is exactly what the Bears need. Mason Cole has no shot against Akeem Hicks when he gets his hands on him. You see him right there. You see how long his reach is? He just basically punches Mason Cole right in the chest and then just throws him out of the way, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's how the game has to be won for them. Akeem Hicks needs to play as many snaps as he can. Fighting, you know, like, like you said, everybody's on his back, and he's going to fight. Go right after that secondary, and an excellent play by Thomas Graham to knock it away the rookie out of Oregon. You're going to see the tight end, Conklin. Watch how he tries to stick him outside and then come back inside on the post. And Graham just holds his position. That's how you play leverage defense. That's as good as you can possibly do it. That's a rookie. Great job by Thomas Graham. Sixth round draft pick. One of the uh, many promotions from the practice squad today. On second and ten. Here's Cook. Nothing there. Irvin first on it for Chicago. Jefferson top of your screen. Cousins looking that way under pressure. And he'll be taken down at the 20. Robert Quinn is there. Sixth consecutive game with a sack for Quinn. We talked about Robert Quinn on Christian Darisaw, the rookie. There he is. Darisaw right here. And Quinn from the outside, Lewis. It's just straight power. Look, Robert Quinn, he's really knocking on the door of breaking Richard Dent, the great Richard Dent, the Hall of Famer's single season sack record. And that's a great way to go ahead and keep pushing towards that goal. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Cook, Ogletree, loss on the play. Third down. Bears going to have to emphasize. Out of the gun on third and seven. Bears rushing just four. And incomplete. Amir Smith, Marset, the intended target, Thomas Graham. Had the coverage. Another good play by Graham. One of the young players just called up today in that Chicago secondary. And how many times have we talked about the fact that when you are not in phase and you can't really look back for the ball, although he does get a head turn real quick, that you go and you punch the pocket, you pull the arms. Would you me. stop eating? I should have taken a second bite. <laughs> second down and one. one. Ball comes out. Quinn able to knock it away, and Darisaw, the rookie, able to recover. Robert Quinn is wearing Darisaw out, Lewis. Yeah, I mean, it's just ridiculous how he can run the hoop. That right there looks like the drill they do at the combine. Robert Quinn needs to go there and teach it. Cousins lofts one. Center field, and it's caught. Deion Bush for the Bears. To the 39 of the Vikings. First interception by this Bears defense in the last four games. And Chicago's got two timeouts left. They got the interception, but they missed a holding call right here in the slot. Watch Justin Jefferson get held. 
right there. And that's that's where the ball is being thrown. It's being thrown to Jefferson. And he... I can't get it. From the 15. Inside handoff, Dalvin Cook. And Akeem Hicks leading the charge. And they do love to talk. Hicks and Cook. Look, I'm just going to tell you, this is a massive man. And right here, you're going to see him right here. Just get penetration and get lockout on Mason Cole and just control him. When you get your arms extended like that as a defensive tackle, the offensive guard is at your mercy. And Mason Cole has no answer for that. Yeah, these two have a history together, too, talking back and forth. Alvin Cook does not back down to anybody. He's got to care if he's 335 pounds. Second and 17. Cousins throwing it is tipped and nearly intercepted. Thomas Graham having a really nice game. And Akeem Hicks basically <laughs> picked up Mason Cole and deposits him right in the lap of Kirk Cousins, which forces this ball to be thrown high. And this, this is what you got to do against Kirk Cousins is get that pressure up front and a great job of coverage. Robert Graham's having a night. They got back off the COVID reserve list. Cousins off the play fake. Looked like his arm might have been hit. The football was certainly deflected. And so Cook had no chance. Got to get pressure on him in the pocket. This time, it's Angelo Blacks at number 90. Just pushing back and getting an effect Minnesota on the Minnesota tonight, both of them, because Justin Jefferson. Back to Cook. Back to the line of scrimmage. Saints next Monday night. A big easy. The Saints are 7-7, seven and seven, and that defense, that travels in the playoffs. Cousins able to step up and throw. And it's knocked away. Come to an end, and then week 16 will crank up on Thursday. Third and nine, empty the backfield. Some late pressure by the Bears. Cousins hit as he throws, and it's knocked away. Alec Ogletree got into the backfield. And again, Marquis Christian, another one of those backups in the secondary making the play. He's going against maybe the best wide receiver, a top two wide receiver in the NFL. You see him give a little tug on the shoulder to kind of slingshot himself upfield on the high side shoulder. I mean, that's just tough football there. You see Cubs is taking a hit there in the pocket oh. because of those penalties and turnovers. On third and four. Cousins going to be swallowed up. Akeem Hicks came flying in. Fourth sack of the night by the Bears. I tell you, at 335 pounds, you should not be able to get up this fast across the line of scrimmage. Watch him use his speed to go right around Mason Cole and almost takes off the head of Kirk Cousins.